Um, on May 8th, uh, easy day to remember, the day before my birthday, I walked in to my boss's office and I was fired. After four years of working at the same company with positive reviews, I no longer had a job. Um, needless to say, I was shocked, I was sad, and um, I was scared. On my way home, I heard a song on the radio, and the words were, you light up the night with a billion stars, surely you light my way when the road gets dark. And I realized that what had happened to me wasn't a surprise to God. And I asked that I would be faithful in my walk on this part of the journey. Um, I had been in a bit of a spiritual desert since my divorce. I had used the excuse of being a full-time mom with a three kids and a full-time job and a side job as a reason to not spend time with God. But I didn't have that full-time job anymore. So I decided to uh, give spending time with God a try. Not because I wanted to, uh, just really out of obedience to Him. Um, and I grew up in the church from a very early age and I always knew in my head that I had great value to God. However, as a survivor of childhood sexual abuse, as someone who has been divorced and now someone who didn't have a job, I didn't feel very valuable. And in those times that I spent with God, um, He honors, honored my obedience like He often does and showed up and for the first time, I realized that my value wasn't in who I was, what others thought of me and what I did, but how, what Christ did for me on the cross. And so for that, I'm very grateful that for the first time I felt in my heart that I had almost infinite value to Christ. Um, I always find that when I go through a trial that the Lord reveals a very simple truth about himself in a very profound way and for that I am extremely grateful and um, after five months uh, I did find new employment.